This FCA Game of the Week is sponsored by Rural and Rural Insurance, a division of a hub, International Midwest Limited. Michael Wersman, Senior Account Executive. Located at the foot of Brady Street in Davenport since 1862. schedule takes a turn next week when district play begins. The two old Mac rivals, Bettendorf and Pleasant Valley, look for momentum this week. They both come in with one and two records. Let's get physical is always the theme in this rivalry. Early on, Pleasant Valley's Brady Borman registers the tackle for loss. Now the Bulldogs looking to move the ball, J. Michael Young to SUNY Lane to move the sticks on third and long. Now the Spartans are on offense. Terry Saul on the road to a first down as he keeps it. 32 yard gainer to the Bulldog 39. But Bettendorf's defense delivers as Lane leaps for an interception and that starts something for the Bulldogs. That's bruising fullback Keegan Glaus up the middle for first down yardage to start a big night for him. Facing third and long, the dogs keep it on the ground as Glaus grinds out more big yards to extend the drive. And it becomes a scoring drive. J. Michael Young in the passing lane to SUNY Lane. 40 yard scoring strike, seven nothing Bettendorf. The Spartans quickly respond on third and long. Terry Saul converts. He swings it out to Carter Christensen for a fresh set of downs. PV on the option as Saul chooses wisely. The pitch to CJ Carter, some fancy moves, and he's in from the 12, and that 7-7 tie holds up right into halftime. Third quarter, Pleasant Valley on the attack. That is Saul. He tucks it in from 28 yards to the Bulldog 17. Looking for the lead on a field goal, but Bettendorf's Cameron Maxfield digs down and reaches up to block that kick. Later in the third, Bettendorf taking action. J. Michael Young, something out of nothing as he emerges and goes 18 yards for the big game. Klaus at it again, straight up the gut, puts his head down for 18 yards to the 28. And moments later, again, right down Broadway goes Klaus. He rumbles 11 yards into the zone as the dogs pull in front 14-7. A safety has the dogs up 16-7. PV punting from their own 17. It's a fake as Dermot Weldon hits Michael Meyer for a clutch conversion, but back it comes as the Spartans are flagged for an ineligible man downfield. Later, the dogs get some insurance as it's off tackle for Keegan Glaus. He bolts 55 yards to the zone, 229 rushing yards for him, 180 of them after halftime. The Spartans cut into that lead late. C.J. Carter finishes deal from the two. The two point try is no good. So the Bulldogs win 23-13 to even out their record at two and two, heading to district play. PV drops to one and three. I think we did good. We came out battled adversity from last week. We uh, battled hard at practice, and uh, we just came out and brought intensity in this game. We started out slow, but we came back out after half and uh, showed us what Bettendorf football is about. Really able to run between the tackles tonight, too. Your line was really solid. Yes, my own line uh, did all the work for me. I, I have to praise them for all that. Mm -hmm. Tell me, you know, defensively, some key stops you guys had, too, and uh, you made plays when you had to. Uh, yeah, we, we had to make those plays, but they had key players. We had key players, and uh, it came down to it, and we just had to stop the run when uh, they were going down on our field. Well, what comes out of this as you go into district play, too? Some things that, uh, I mean, it's great to get a win, but I know you guys want to get better, too. Uh, we got a lot to work on, and uh, our coaches will have us ready, and they'll prepare us for district play. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like uh, this is it, man? We're really in the thick of it now, the meat of it, and you feel like, you know what, uh, you guys could really turn a corner next week. Yeah, I feel like we're going to start rolling, and we're just going to get our football going. Uh, it feels good. You know, we look forward to playing them every year. They're a great team, have great coaches. They're well coached, and uh, but we're well coached, and it's always a battle. It's never a blowout, so it's always a fun game. Seven, seven and a half. You know, what made the difference, you think, in uh, the final two quarters? I think we just came out, 
I remember the very first play of the half, we were on defense. Cameron Maxfield came out and got a sack, and we just kept the momentum going from there. If they could have gone down and got that field goal, who knows? You know, got a block field goal too. I mean, did you sense that was a kind of a shift in moment, momentum? Too? Oh, definitely. You know, it just got us when we were able to block it and get the ball back. It just got us all hyped. Got the and then we were able to get an offensive run, and it just kept going from there. How big is defense down the stretch now as you you face really the thick of the schedule with district play getting going? Oh, uh, it's big. We got a defense got has to make plays, get us be able to get good field position for the offense, you know, and like everyone says, defense wins games. Well, I mean, it's been a unique season for you guys too. I mean, you played some really good teams and some crazy scores, I guess, too. Do you feel like, you know, uh, you know, this week of practice could be really be the key how you respond to a win and uh, as you try to get better too? Uh, definitely. We got to practice hard, practice like we practice every day. Don't take any days off, anything, any plays for granted. Just come out, practice hard and be, be ready for Friday. We found ways to make it interesting, I guess, but we, we uh, it was a grind and we knew it would be over here. They have some really tough athletes and they played a good, they, they had a good scheme on defense and played as tough and, uh, you know, we found a way to get a win at the end and that's really at the end all that matters. So uh, we got some tough games ahead. You know, the preseason part is over and, and uh, now they start, the district games start next week and we really got to, we got to clean things up and be ready to go. Able to run the ball tonight though. Yeah. Yeah, we have been, you know, really we, that part's been getting better and they have a tough front. Pleasant Valley's good on defense and, and, uh, um, I thought in the second half we played a little better on the offensive line and, and Keegan ran tough and, and uh, you know, it's good to get a win. Seven, seven and a half, uh, you blocked the field goal that could have given them the lead. Did you sense this, this could be the, the momentum we want? Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I thought we played after that. That was obviously got us going and that was some momentum and it was good to dodge a bullet there a little bit. And, um, you know, we found a way to win. I, I'm a little disappointed at the end. We let the vertical ball get behind us when everybody in the stadium knew they were going to throw it and we let the guy run by us. But, uh, you know, I, I, at the end we got a win and they got some great players and we found a way to get them shut down and, and get a win. Well, and obviously district play, there's a value to uh, every game now too, right? Yeah, and we got some tough teams. I mean, Muscatine next week will be a real, real challenge. And, uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, we play Iowa City, play Clinton, scored about 50 points on everybody. So it'll be a, uh, you know, we got some tough games ahead. Really proud of the way our kids fought tonight. Um, you know, both, both teams played really hard. Uh, typical rivalry game. Um, gave ourselves an opportunity to win right down to the end. Thought our kids played, uh, uh, gave, a, gave a great account of themselves. And, and uh, you know, especially when, when, when you, know, you know, their tremendous size at, mm -hmm. at all positions, I thought our kids' effort was tremendous. Thought our schemes were good, mm -hmm. did a good job. Physical all over the place too. Right? Oh yeah, it was a physical football game, you know, absolutely. And, and uh, you know, we, we get after it during the week, pride ourselves trying to be physical. And I thought obviously it was a huge step from last week to this week. Uh, you know, and, and I thought, uh, you know, I, I, I really didn't know what to think. You know, I mean, you know, Bettner's got some big kids. You got three kids going to college, Division One, up there in the offensive line, and got some tremendous athletes. So, um, I just wanted to make sure we came out and give everything we got, give a great effort. And, and uh, I, I thought if we did that, you know, we'd have an opportunity, and we did. So, really proud of the way our effort. You know, I've been more. I was more proud of, of this game tonight than I have been on some wins. I'll be honest mm. with you. Well, and then too, I mean, you just can't worry about the perception of what one and three is, too, right? I mean, now you're ready for district play. Oh, absolutely. We've been, we were on three or one and three a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. Don was like, oh, it's been a while. I go, no, not really. Only two years ago. <laughs> we were two and two last year. I mean, that's the nice thing about district. I mean, you want to challenge yourself against some of the state's best, and we've done that the last three weeks against Iowa City High, and Muscatine, and Bettner. If we had an opportunity to win all three of them, just a couple of plays here, a couple of calls there, and who knows? We're sitting at uh, you know, you know, four and zero, oh. but we're one and three. And no one feels sorry for us, and uh, that's okay. That's okay because we're going to get you ready to go next week, and we're uh, heading up to Western Dubuque, getting ready for district call. That's what I was going to say. Uh, lots of season left. How do you expect the guys to respond? You know, to to practice and say we got another game on Friday. With the way my coaching staff is and the way we approach things, that we'll be ready to go. Trust me, Dan. Mm -hmm. Those kids will be ready. How about you? Are you ready to start fellowship of Christian athletes at your college, high school, or middle school, mm -hmm. just like they have at Bettendorf and Pleasant Valley? find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at IllawaFCA.org. With this FCA Game of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.